too many chivapchichi. Sometimes it catches right away, sometimes it just... It's, a, it's a one of the cylinders, it's faulty. It doesn't provide enough pressure between the clutch mm -hmm. and the engine, that's all it is. I just had it on a car recently, on one of my cars. It's a pain in the butt to fix, really. Yeah, it costs a lot. So yeah, because it's essentially a clutch replacement, what you do. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah. It's about 70% of the cost, then you just say, bugger it, let's get the whole clutch done. That's how it works. Yeah, and then also, like, at this point, it's like, it's also done to make the new car, so... Yeah, okay. why not? I was in Wales, I rented a car and I ended up with an Audi. That's nice. I was like, oh, by accident. I wanted a car that had um what do you call it? Uh I wanted a car that had the GPS already on it because I had read that some of the places that we were gonna see in Wales, like Snowdonia and stuff like that, um like the the parks that they are too um, that they're too remote and your um, your phone might not work. So then I was like, all right, well, I guess so. You know, definitely like you know, take the car with a with you know the GPS. And then there was something going on with like the size that I wanted, and they ended up like upgrading me to an Audi without like even charging it for it. Yeah. The, the so, English are good about like that, they really are. I was like, that's amazing, but I love that. It. it was so automatic, everything about it was yes. automatic. It was like, even, um, you know, like, it starts raining and the fucking wipers come on on their own. I'm like, what? Like, everything about it. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, this black building, that's it. Yeah. So getting to it from my place is a little, yeah, but then you see, like, uh, in this area, like forward there, it's again fancy buildings, like all these fancy apartments, blah blah blah. So this is the building. Oh, okay, it's nice. Yeah. Nice bars. Prison block A. Yeah. Looks nice. Roomy. So yeah, my space would be the one that you see down there. Oh, okay. What is that? Is that cut? Oh, it's a cat. Oh, and that's cool. Very. Yeah, that's good. You always want to have cats around. Yes. Places like this. Yeah, so that's that. Yeah, you go through here with the driveway. Yes. And, this, uh, and then over here we have a lot of drug dealers, prostitution. <laughs> you know, nothing serious, just your regular New York City. Regular New York City, yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah. But already over here, the store is different, the fancy apartments, they're like $5,000 for a studio. Yeah. And stuff like that. Crazy. I know because that's when the family got into England and she left, was leaving six months after I met her. Hmm. 2008. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, what was longer? The 
Yeah, your dad's still in Troy. He still, he does have a car here, right? Well, he drives all the time. He's driven, yeah. drives every second day. Yeah. He's driving, it's fine. No, no, I know. I just I forgot whether he still has the car. Yeah, he's got the Honda Odyssey. Yeah. yeah. Drives fine. Horrible mileage, though. 12.5 12 mi miles per gallon. The Honda? Yes. Really? Yes, 12.5. How come? Hondas are usually, Japanese cars are usually good. Maybe my dad just drives very short distances in town. Yeah, city driving is good. Yeah. I mean, just basically traffic everywhere around here. Because my Ford Focus does 43 miles per gallon. And the car I had before that was 55. Is it manual? Mm -hmm. And not to drive efficiently from Africa because in parts of Africa we didn't have petrol stations for the big distances. Yeah. And if you get stuck, you need to walk for like 10 kilometers to get signal. Yeah, and you usually probably always have like extra gas in the car. Yeah, well that's what we had. We had jerry cans. Yeah. Like in Daktari. Great fun. Do you remember Daktari, the show? No. It's about this African family, uh, but the American family moves to Africa. No, no. My sister loved it. She was very upset the one time I accidentally re recorded over the VHS with that. I don't know, I've never heard of that. Daktari. Like I'll like send you a South link. South African show? No, or? it's an uh, American show. Really? From the 70s or 60s. I've never heard of it. I'll send it to you. Okay. It's mildly racist. <laughs> like everything from the 60s, okay? So if you can't handle that, I won't you. with them to like move into that space on the bottom it's like 6500 square feet in the bottom and then they just would not fucking finish this building they don't know what the fuck they're doing it's like one step back over another over another over another this is like a block and a half away from my space now and at the time i thought like you know that would be great because i could just move down the block or whatever but um you know i don't want to lose like my clientele now no. but they just took too long it's been like a year of bullshit with them and so i finally kind of moved on and decided not to wait anymore and um originally when i started talking to them in april last year they said it was going to be in july and then in july they postponed to october in october they ended up getting a stop work order until like february and then when i resumed talks with them again in march after they had their work order back it was, um, it was just like whatever i'm like i'm done this is just bullshit then i looked at this space too but this space i don't like the way it's shaped it's kind of like an l shape and also with neither one of these spaces i really don't like the fact that they have these like fancy ass um apartments upstairs you know, like, I'm doing, like, really industrial, dusty stuff, and these people are paying, like, five grand for a studio, and they'll just complain, like, all the time, like, the noise and this, like, if I have an event, if I have an opening, if I have a party, if I have, like, all these things, you know, these people are, like, all oh, bitch, and I just don't, I feel like this would be, like, much better to just move on to, like, an industrial space where I literally don't have anybody over my head and I can do other Courses for courses, you know? When you need industrial, you get industrial. Otherwise, yeah. if you compromise, you're going to get bullshit. I mean, the spaces here on the bottom are industrial, but on top, they're fancy. So it's kind of like some odd hybrid where it's like... 50-50. Yeah, it's like they want to cater to both things, but at the same time, like... I have these other, these friends, they run a place called Flux Factory. It's like an art space that does like artist residencies. And, uh, and you know, they just got a second location in a building like that, that's like really fancy. This guy here, Cafe Chuscal, you see this yeah. little place? Yes. Excellent. Excellent crepes from uh, uh, Brittany. Uh, he's a, a friend of mine, a chef. Yes. Um, small hole in a wall place, some of the best food you eat. Fantastic. Um, so, so, yeah, it's just kind of like, um, what was that saying? Oh, yeah, so like they try to like cater to both. Um, you know, like the fancy apartments and this industrial space Hybrid on the living. 
and these people um, from the tax collector, they just rented a space like that, that in a space that has like above the apartment. And it was like 10 of them just celebrating. Like I moved into a space on the first floor. They had like a little bit of a party for just the 10 of them and they fucking ended up with a noise complaint. Isn't <laughs> that crazy? It was like, it's like there's nobody. I mean, usually their parties are huge. They invite like people, because they've been a space that do, does like artist residencies like for the last 30 years, you know what I mean? So they have like a huge base and you know, so it was just really weird. They're like, it was just 10 of us and you know, now they're thinking like, how are they ever going to do what they normally do yes. in the space like this? I mean, they have another big, big location, but uh, this is like the second location. <laughs> There's a space in this building on the third floor that I was looking at too. This? High so. Really hot. Third Next floor. To school. Yeah. It's a third floor. It's all industrial the building, but the, the space is on the third floor. It does not have air conditioning and the electricity is really small. So I don't know. Not not feeling it. Yeah, I don't. This is the you know Film studios, Kaufman Astoria yes. Film Studios. I've walked to Ryan here, I think. Yeah. One of my many walks. Yeah, they have a really nice shop in there, but they don't hang out with anybody. Well, they don't have to have enough capital not to give a crap. Yeah, but it's, it would be so much nicer if they actually contributed a little bit to the community, you know, had some kind of open door days or something, you know? C.1. They have so much money, yeah. they don't give a crap. Just how it is. It shouldn't be, you know. I think that you could have money and give it for it. You know, there's some kind of a, an in between, but I don't think uh, it's necessary to be mm. like that. Oh my goodness! All the bumps. Yeah. Well, in the Jeep you feel it even more, but New York City roads are very horrible. Very much like fucking Banana Republic. Oh, there you go, he's got a camera too. Yeah, he's armed. <laughs> that's a, that's a analog camera. Yeah. And that's it. This is you. There you go, thank you very much. I'm going to take my